Right, in this video, what I'd like to do is show you a technique that I call fractal painting. It's a way to block in your paintings um, or your compositions really quickly uh, by using basic shapes. Actually, you can create complex shapes uh, with basic shapes. And, and as you've noticed in some of the other videos, I like to start with shapes. Silhouettes are really important to me, so I go from shape, form, to color, uh, to detail. Uh, and so uh, this particular technique is in Photoshop using the shape tool. The shape tool is found uh, underneath the rectangle tool right down here. And then these are your shapes up here. Now you'll see these are mostly custom shapes. You just have a few Photoshop shapes that are left. I dumped most of the photo Photoshop shapes uh, for my own custom shapes. And the setting I have it on is pixels right up here rather than um, uh, points uh, or vector points. And as I grab my shape tool there, well, you can see I can pull in a mountain range. Um, I selected my mountain range shape, and I can pull in a mountain range. But then, basically, you know, you have the same mountain range all the time. Uh, and so, um, you don't want to do that. You want to repeat. So, by just pulling, you can see you can pull long ways this way, um, vertical. Uh, and then you can pull horizontal to make uh, smaller hills. And so the whole purpose of this is to use a singular shape uh, and create uh, more interesting shapes. And you can bounce back and forth um, from white uh, to, uh, to black uh, and create, uh, create kind of a ground plane down here and then pull a lot of white across here and then pull it across again just to get a little bit of variation in there. So you can see um, that you can create a much more complex mountain range uh, by, uh, by fractal uh, painting. Um, and so here's some examples of, of what I've done. Here's a real basic shape that I've created. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll show you that shape uh, right over here. Grab the black right here and this is that basic shape you can see that right there uh, it's pretty basic but if you go over and over and over again grabbing white you can create the edges of buildings uh, I have a shape uh, right here that um, creates kind of a grid pattern like so uh, and you can create all sorts of uh, that's just a grid uh, that I've created. And you can uh, make really interesting uh, and complex shapes out of very simple shapes. Here's another example uh, here. Uh, as you see, uh, just kind of mountains in here. And you can see I even have a uh, people shape. Let me show you a couple of the people shapes um, down here. And you can see, now these are just generic shapes that I've created. Uh, and usually these are for distant people. And then, you know, I change the arms and do different things, uh, but it's just to get the composition going. And that's all really this is for, is uh, to develop an interesting composition. Now, how do I create these custom shapes? Um, you can see I use, uh, these are all from my sketchbook. So these are uh, done analog with a brush pen. So let me just select, I like this little grouping of trees right here, um, and get all of it, and uh, we'll create a custom shape. So I'm going to copy and paste that onto a new layer um, because I want all of it. So I'm going to select that there and just go up to select similar so I get all of, uh, uh, all of the black. Now what I'm going to do is go to paths, and in paths I'm going to make work path, all right? Tolerance is at one. And so I've made the work path. Now I'm going to come over here to edit, and I'm going to go to define custom shape. Okay, and that's going to uh, give me a menu bar to uh, name that particular custom shape, and we'll call this uh, uh, group of trees. All right, so uh, call that group of trees. And now as we go back over to this uh, composition here. I can take the shape tool and go to my shapes and you can see I have group of trees down here. So you can 
see just going over and over and over I can create a variety of different trees and a tree line there so that is basic fractal painting Alrighty, I'll do a uh, real quick demo using uh, some of these shapes. So I'll grab my uh, mountain range shape there, and I'm just going to uh, pull down and across and just create uh, a series of shapes. I have uh, mountain range on one side, and, uh, actually on both sides, uh, kind of a passageway, kind of like uh, one of the other images that I've already created. So let me uh, pull some more of this down into here like so. And I'll just keep uh, playing with these shapes. Um, make a really kind of interesting, I'm thinking about having the light coming from uh, the right hand side. So uh, ultimately I will uh, um, bring a lot more light back into this side kind of playing with it here. And again, we kind of want to create some variation. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and grab another mountain shape. We usually have two or three mountain shapes. Sometimes I just flip the whole canvas horizontal, um, but this one I'm going to uh, just keep playing with. It says kind of a, I should redo this shape because it has a hard uh, line on the bottom. I so this one we'll, uh, we'll kind of play with. You can see that hard line there. Create a bit of a shadow here. This shape. Um, and we'll go back to that other mountain shape. And just give me just a minute. All right, we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, Here, and create a kind of a feel that this area is going to be in shadow, and then the light's coming from left to right. And it's going to peek through this particular area right through here. This area will be in shadow. Passageway in here. And you can see I'm just going to use this white over and over and over again. Kind of block that out. Almost like an eraser. Catch a little bit of more light in through there. And, uh, and we'll just keep playing. That was a very good choice there. Let's have this. And this is where I would clean some of that up with um, my painting as I go through. All right, so I'm creating kind of a, this is getting a little close to being um, the same height. So we'll raise this up a little bit and now I'll start pulling some light back over onto the side of the hill. This more into shadow. shadow. So I'm going to create some more shapes um, or more just interesting topography to the, the landscape. Pull this across here but then I'll immediately pull some white back into there. Go along over here and then just keep playing with these shapes. And now uh, shape that I created for the uh, trees. Let me go ahead and get some white back into here because uh, I'm going to take some of those trees that I created and just start throwing some of these trees. Um, forgot to change that 
back to white. These trees back in here, kind of like a canyon of what's going on. And then I would just come back in when I'm ready to paint and just reinforce the light side. And this is where I can use that tree shape to create a bit of a plateau here. tree shape anymore to create these rocks so I've got this plateau in here and then what I could do is uh, if I wanted to in this lower third um, I could just come in and start to create a structure if I wanted to tuck it in here with the trees So I've just created a little bit of a structure. Make this a western scene. But there's how uh, basically you uh, just can block in something pretty quickly just using shapes. And in this one I used maybe three or four shapes. Uh, and uh, that was about it. You know, I could put a little guy right out here. Tiny little guy walking around um, if I wanted to. Creating another guy. It's a little farther back. Um, I can make him chubby if I want to by just making him a little wider. Um, but basically, this is uh, the whole purpose of this is to be able to um, knock down a composition um, relatively uh, quickly. If you can, if you can develop a composition. If I didn't talk or uh, just was playing with this, this composition would be set in probably uh, less than ten minutes. Uh, and then the rest of the time I'm, I'm developing um, detail and, and telling more of a story. But again, this is, this is really a technique to just set your composition. Uh, if your composition is, is working, that's it's really uh, part of the biggest part of the battle. Um, and then uh, um, you can take that painting and move forward. If you're only spending 10 to 20 minutes on a, um, developing a composition really kind of basic like this, um, then uh, um, you could spend really all your time in detail. And how I would start to go to paint with this is I would go over to my layer and just drop the opacity. I can create several layers and drop the opacity in the background area if I want and then just start painting right over the top of it. Uh, but that's how I would block in uh, uh, painting using that fractal uh, technique. So it's uh, fractal painting using um, one shape to create, uh, really, I mean, that mountain range, I can create um, uh, a uh, variety of mountain ranges. As a matter of fact, none of the mountain ranges would look exactly the same by using that um, one initial uh, um, mountain sketch that I have. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you soon.